welcome back. I'm Gina and I'm here today uh, to do my process video slash I did most of it, but I'm going to do the rest of it with you video for my December daily 2020 day number 10. And so um, I'm really excited about this. So as you can see, I have quite a few things already done and prepped that I have worked on. And I'm going to kind of talk through each one of these. And I kind of wanted to just do a real kind of live video today so I could work and talk through um, and just explain kind of what I did. And then I'm going to kind of assemble the page with you uh, and all together. So. I have day 10 I'm working on, and I got this idea from Crystal uh, Inundate, Inundate and also Allie Edwards. They both did this particular layout, um, and I'm mishing and mashing both of them and used some of their ideas, and then also kind of played and went out on my own um, with a few things. So here is what the whole idea is. I'm going to do some stamping later, so I'll set that aside. I have um, an acetate, um, really cute printed one that I will be putting. This is from my cocoa kit, and I'll be putting this over the pieces, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I've also used a template and kind of made it my own um, that came with my package for doing the product play and the, all the fun stuff for the 2020 December Daily with Allie Edwards. But what I've done is I have, the idea is that I'm going to have my layout will be as such. So this is the left side and it's a three by eight, a little larger because it's the size of a page protector. And then I also have my six by eight, um, same size as a page protector. So it's a little bit more than six by eight. I think this is like seven um, by eight and a quarter is what I did. And this one's like three and a quarter. I can get those measurements later, but I basically um, have this as my open layout. And I plan to put a um, something on the back of here that introduces day 10. That's what we're working on. So I have made some pencil marks here and I thought I'd talk about these real quickly because they're sort of a guide for me. So this is the layout that was done um, in the product play. And I kind of laid this here to identify. So what is going to happen is I have pre-cut uh, all of these 10 of these things because today is day 10 and I'm going to be doing 10 of the things I am loving currently. So I have made some texture pieces which was uh, the whole purpose of those um, product play workshops because texture is a big thing this year with Allie Edwards and I am super excited because I loved it and so I have re I've done my journaling for all of the 10 things that I am currently loving right now in December so I pre-cut these these are basically five um five and a half inches and then by one and a quarter inch okay that's basically and then I basically took my um, little tool and, and cut in a, folded that in half at basically 2.75. So 10 of those ready to go for me to assemble with all of my things. And then they're each going to have a place on the layout next to each other. So it's just gonna be this beautiful um, story full of texture covers and fun journaling on the inside. So. Here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to walk through kind of all the pieces. And of course, during that time, I'll share uh, what I uh, have done. And I made this one first and I, I um, <laughs> sort of just thought, oh, buttons. And I'm thinking I went a little overboard, but I was gonna talk about each one of them first and then I'll get to probably assembling them. And I will put that on kind of fast forward so I could get through that. But what I did with this one is I took some felt and I just ordered that from Amazon and I cut it to the dimensions of 1.25 by uh, 2.75 and that will fit right there on the cover. So I'll be taping those with some tape on there. But I took my machine and I just did some little zigzag stitching. I used a little uh, embellishment that says ho 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 and then I thought buttons were going to be a finishing touch. So I stitched with some embroidery thread the um, buttons right there on there. 
so I'm just making sure you guys can see. I can't tell. I think so. So yeah, very fun. Okay, so I'm going to like kind of lay these out and then that will help me. All right, so I'm going to have four on this side, uh, four on this row, so there'll be eight all together, and then I'm going to put two over here. I was just showing you this. This is the first one I made, so let's just go ahead and put this one right over here. I don't know if this is where I'll want it, but I'll play with it a little. So we'll just go down the line. On this one right here, I used uh, the Fa La 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 stamp, and I believe that came from a, and I'll put all the stamps that I used uh, because I have a variety, some from Felicity Jane, some from December Daily, and some from um, Carrie Bradford. And yeah, this one came from the Carrie Bradford um, Block of Joy, and I used this little follow loss stamp. So what I did was I took my inks and I love to emboss, and I've been embossing for many, many years, but I'm just kind of bringing it back alive because I just enjoy it so much. But I used some of, you need a um, kind of a pigment ink and I'm using some crafters ink. So I used Olympia from Allie Edwards as well as uh, Pendleton um, for these colors. And what I did is I took a piece of Felicity Jane printed paper. Um, this is dual sided paper, uh, but this is one with little Christmas trees. And then I went ahead and embossed. You can't, it's kind of hard to see, but I embossed with some clear powder over the colored ink, melted those little tiny embossing powders, which basically embossing powder is tiny, minuscule pieces of plastic. And what you're doing is they're sticking to the ink and then you are heating them with the embossing gun or embossing tool which is extra high heat it is hotter 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 it's a tool um, it's not a hair dryer it's much hotter than that so anyway it melts all of that and makes a really cool embossed effect and I love the way this turned out and then I actually took a little piece of uh, let's see this came from a December daily um, chipboard piece came from this Thing that I got from Ali Edwards and I just thought the little black Christmas tree was perfect so I laid that there and we are done I tried to keep some of these pretty simple because a couple of them get a little more intricate so now I'll talk about this one I've really loved the pink and greens for this season and what I did with this one is this little piece is a wood white uh, piece <laughs> that says piece and it is something that I really wanted to adhere and I got them in a I believe it was a Allie Edwards kit and then I also have some just random little snowflake um, kind of stickers that are on there but as you can see on the back of this I actually used my jelly plate which is what Allie Edwards um encouraged us to do and I love my little gel I only have like a, like a six by six one and I'm not real good at using it but I just have some acrylic um, paint and this one I just used some bubble wrap and um, actually one of my circle stencils and I wanted it to be pink so I used some acrylic pink just ones that you can get at Target just whatever's in your stash and I put this on the textured cardstock and it turned out just perfect I really love it all right, the next one I made, and I've already adhered it to one of my, um, just I was practicing, and so I already adhered it to the flip up. And you can see the staples and the brad in the back and the foozy, fuzzy, fun stuff that I put on it, and that will get covered with the picture. But I took some vellum, and the vellum is uh, from the Felicity Jane Coco Kit. And I laid that vellum just straight down. And then I added some of the bits that I got from Felicity Jane and just laid that down and then stapled it around the corner. And then added this little Carrie Bradford Joy uh, that I got, I forget, it's called Christmas Pieces or something. And it's a uh, printable that you can get. And um, I really would encourage you to do that. It's just I love, love, love her stuff. And it's just so simple and clean and sweet. And then I actually added a little black brad and the brad just, I used my little poker tool, poke that right through the paper and goes to the back. And then this is also just a little embellishment that I stapled on. Kind of, I didn't adhere the vellum to the white paper, so it's very loose, but I have all these little pieces of adhere, adhering tools on here, such as a staple or a brad, another staple. And just love the way that that little black and red turned out so very very fun all right here's another really fun one that i created now this is a piece of um that felt i love this felt it's little squares i think they're like six by six squares 
or seven by, I don't know, eight by eight, little square felt pieces of a whole bunch of different colors. And the color schemes, I just had fun picking them out. But what I did is I took one of the tags from the Allie Edwards um, kit this year for December Daily, and I cut it. I just cut it on. It's so hard for me to take a really cute tag and destroy it, but I feel like I'm making something beautiful <laughs> as I destroy it. Uh, but I knew I wasn't going to use it as a tag, so I ended up cutting it and making it just a little bit smaller than my um, large base of flannel and then, or felt, it's not flannel, it's felt, felt. And then what I did was in gold, I used a, uh, so gold embossing powder over my Versamark, my Versamark pigment ink this time, which is great for embossing. Again, it's a pigment type of ink. E ink and what that means is it stays wet longer so that when you put the powder on it adheres to that until you have time to melt it. So I took also a little word Noel. This came from the Noel kit from Felicity Jane last year, my first time doing December daily. Again, this is my second year so I'm learning and exploring and doing all the fun things. Um, and then what I did is also the trees here that came from this year's kit, I believe. Let me just double check in my little fun. I like to tell you guys where I'm getting these. And um, actually this was from last year's kit. So it was from the Noel Felicity Jane kit. So yes, I went ahead and embossed these solid trees in gold and the little Noel. And then what I did you guys is I took this little bit that I had in my stash. I just love it. It's like a little clip. And I think I got these from Stampin' Up many, many years ago, but it's just little, you know, like little metal piece. And, uh, I think you can clip it or do whatever. But what I did is I took some floss, some, uh, gold embroidery floss, and I just stitched it right in there to kind of put a little detail on there to make it extra texture. I really, this is probably one of my favorite ones. I love it. It's very Northwest where I'm from. All right, the next one I took was, um, and again, I grabbed these ideas from both Crystal and Allie. Um, both just have just amazing ideas and process videos that I learn a lot from. I took a piece of my um, glitter red cardstock and I ended up taking a piece of, well, let's back from, we'll move up. I actually took my, um, my uh, stencil, my Felicity Jane star stencil and I put some texture paste. And if you're wondering um, about those texture paste pieces, I because I realize when we do these things, sometimes people want to know. I just have this Ranger texture paste opaque matte, so it's white, and there are many on the market. You can just get them on Amazon. I think I got this one at maybe Michael's. Um, and so it's a texture paste, and when you open it up, it's um, like just really gooey, gooey fun stuff. And I just take my little knife, and I run my little stencil over it. I'm looking for my stencil and I think I don't have it handy because I did this, but I let it dry. And then you get this great, like very rough and tough. And I use, I've used this in previous pages in my previous layouts as well. This little ornament is a cute one, cute little one from the Coco kit or the Noel kit. It's definitely Felicity Jane, but I'm not sure which kit it came from. And then I also have this little sequence star that I thought would add a little bit of the red. And that came from this year's Coco kit from Felicity Jane. And very simple. I also then put one of the, um, one of the Tim Holtz. I think it's from one of the words. Um, it's ideology words, strips, and I love, love, love those. And anywhere you add those, they're just so cute and staple that on. And then we have that. All right. Okay. This has got to be, this is the second one I did. And this is my favorite and I, uh, or one of my favorites. And I did get this from Allie Edwards. Um, and then Crystal also did it. I'm going to just, I took a pencil mark and I, um, basically traced a little, uh, made a little Christmas, uh, tree triangle long and skinny on there. And then I also drew a little trunk. And what I did is it looks like a mess on the back, so beware. I took some washi and I just basically took embroidery thread and stitched. And what I did is I took my poker tool. So what I have is this little kind of foam edge uh, thing. Hope I'm in frame. And then this very sharp, sharp tool. And what I did is then I just, along my pencil lines, I just poked pieces through just like a little, um, all the way down. And then what I did was I just stitched across back and forth 
the green that I had in my stash and then I did the little brown one in the same manner and then I put a little gold star from the Felicity Jane Coco Kit and while it looks so icky on the back and I just use tape not knots because I think it'll make it flatter for me to adhere to my little cover but I just love that so cheery and happy so yeah this tool is really fun and I love stitching and I think I'm into stitching on my sewing machine but also this is hand stitching tools that are really fun to use so if you can get your hands on one of those it's very helpful you of course can just take a needle and just like poke the holes as well um which is how Allie did it and definitely uh you know you don't need anything fancy to do that all right, the next one I did is, I remember I made 10 of these. I took a piece of white felt, and then I took some washi from Felicity Jane, which I love, all the black and white. I have a lot of black and white throughout my um, album this year. And then this one is another chipboard piece from that piece that I showed you earlier from this December daily. Chipboard's super fun. And I actually took some liquid glue just to make sure, kind of like when you're a kid, you put the Elmer's glue down. I use some, um, I personally really enjoy using some of these. I use just the multi mono glue to make sure because I was worried because remember this is outside the page protector. So I want to be sure that the um, pieces don't come off over time. And especially when people are flipping them back and forth. Uh, so the glue is definitely good. I love these Tombow glues. I have a clear one and a white one, and it seems to work really well. I also then, after I adhered the washi and just kind of folded it around that back, I went to my sewing machine and just stitched, stitched it on to add a little more texture. So just a really, just a nice little black and white one. All right, the next one I did was a, um, I thought to myself, hmm, there's a story with this one. I took a, I thought, you know, I don't have anything really blue. I have, and I really wasn't trying to do any particular color. I wanted it to look very kind of mishmashy and kind of just fun and, I don't know, just kind of random. And I took a piece of blue because I thought there's no blue. And our Christmas tree colors this year were um, more of a patriotic color, red, white, and then like a Tiffany blue. And so I went ahead and did two of these little felt hearts. And this is where the story comes in. I actually had a punch. And the punch, had I had these size hearts for my die cutting, um, machine you know the thing I don't forget the name of it but it's the one where you can use little die cuts I don't have any this small so I took my punch and it got caught in the red heart one and it it just destroyed it it I shouldn't have done it but um beware if you do do that but I did these with punches <clears throat> and now I need a new heart punch but Maybe I'll just get die cuts of tiny little hearts. I think that's probably what I'll do. Uh, so then I can get them. And I feel like that goes through this felt really easily. I could also have used my um, silhouette, which I love to use. It's easy to use. I just didn't. Thought I would try my punch. Fail. <laughs> but I at least got the heart out of it. It like poked the little one out. And then the other size, it didn't. It jammed it. And it was not, not a fun not a fun thing. So anyway, then I took, uh, I just did some random messy stitching around this blue felt and ended up with this really cute layered heart. And I went ahead and layered it with the white heart as the base, the little red one. And then also another one of those little blue sequin stars that came in the cocoa kit. And then a tiny little copper, um, brad, um, which I put on the heart and then I stapled that on. So very fun, adds a little bit of blue, just a pop. And then finally I took some um, of my, I didn't have, she, Allie had done cork board on the bottom and I don't have any cork board, but I did have these in my stash, these little hearts from previous kit this year from, I believe it was an Allie Edwards kit and I was a perfect time to use it. I just adhered it to red um, and stitched right down. This resembles one of the ones she did also. And really love the way that turned out. Now, I'll probably play around with the um, with the movement of these. I'm not sure I really love the way um, they're, they're set right now. So I'll probably move around. So what I'm going to do right now is just put you on fast forward. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble all of these. And then what I'm going to do is do a nice title here on the bottom. 
And so I'll meet you back here in just a little bit. wanted to share how I did my journaling. I used this template um, that we had and I had written in my Photoshop when I <clears throat> put this in Photoshop and then I just did a text box and used a fun font and then put that right in there. So I just did it on regular copy paper and then when I came out then I was able to just cut these out and they are the correct size. Now you can see there's a little, I mean it's not perfect, but this particular one will be ready to go and yeah so um, I've got all these organized and so it'll take me a couple minutes to assemble them Okay, so now that I have them all um, put down, I just need to decide how I would like to put them on here. And I don't think I'm going to be too picky, except I don't really want reds next to each other. So I'm going to kind of play around, um, maybe put this one here. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put these all down and then I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp under here. So let's go ahead and get started. And again, I use this glue. I just feel like, well, maybe some sticky tape would be. I'm going to go ahead and um, just adhere these down and then I'll be back to uh, stamp out my title with you. But I don't want to make you... Um, watch me just tape these down. So I'm going to use to use some of my um, <clears throat> red line tape just so that they're on there really good. And I'm going to put two strips on the back of each one of these and I'll be back in a second. All right. I have adhered all of them now to my um, piece, but I wanted to share a couple of tips that I uh, found out along the way, which is how we all learn, right? I started out with the red line tape, um, but it really wasn't, um, it was taking too long and I love this stuff, but I decided just to use my Easy Runner, which is also pretty strong adhesive. And I felt really good about that and it was a little bit easier. And so what I did was I started out using my little template here and then got a little frustrated um, because I felt like it wasn't really straight. And then I messed up and I had to, grab an earlier piece I cut so these aren't my holes are a little off so I'm gonna have to fix that when I get ready to put it into my album but I decided I just thought I would share how I did try to I think they look pretty even and I used um this is from a collection a Jim Holtz um they're supposed to be like stamp blocks but I they're too skinny for my hands so I use I find I use this one especially a lot for the quarter or the uh so what is this square inch and so what, what was really nice is I need this about four inches for my title because I'm going to be using the Carrie Bradford um the Carrie Bradford 
Denali Extra Large Alphabet, and I'm really excited about these. I love them, and I haven't really actually got to use them yet, so I'm going to be using them, and each one, I used my L as an example, <clears throat> and it was, they're about four inches, the tallest ones, so that's going to be really nice because I'm going to be spelling out loving right now, and I'm going to be putting RN for right now to use sort of a terminology of the 2020s. And um, I also found that taking a little washi and kind of putting that together was really nice. Um, I kind of almost just changed my mind. I might put right now, loving. Ooh, I kind of like that. I originally was going to do loving right now, like squeeze in loving on just this page. But I think I'm going to put RN um, for right now. Again, just using some text for verbiage. So I think I'll just keep that, that nice and even. And I wanted you to join me for my stamping, real-time stamping. And I was going to share how I'm going to use that. Oh my goodness gracious. Of course I messed that up. I love washi. Washi is just so multi-purposeful. And put a little there right there. So T ruler was helpful also in my first row because I used it so I could use the piece right here. So you know you just you start out one way and you end up changing your mind and um, finding the path with least resistance. <laughs> At least I do. So okay, loving how it's looking. It's simple but just busy and interesting and fun and all of that. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I have my my bar and I'm going to go ahead and start stamping and I decided I was going to use I started out thinking I might use some gray but I think I'm just going to use Olympia and Pendleton from Allie Edwards and just alternate my letters just because I think that's pretty fun so no rhyme or reason to this we're just going to get to it so I'm going to actually use this um this is a a lawn fawn and I love this long block for border stamps but I also love to just because I can kind of just take in my hand and really um, put it where I want to put it so I'm going to go ahead and start out oops I was going to start off with right now and I think I'm going to be not too picky about this I don't want to make it too perfect so I'm going to go ahead and just grab have my little stamp cleaner here uh, this is a chamois and I just, it's also lawn fun actually. And I love to just clean up my stamps as I go. So let's get started. I'm going to do, um, I think I like that right now, the RN. And if you're looking at me going, what in the world? I just think it's kind of fun to use. I teach middle school. So sometimes I'll be like, RN. So let's start off with red. Let's just be bold and start out. And again, this is um, this is really fun ink. I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to go right in, just kind of guesstimate it. And if it's not perfectly straight, I'm going to be okay with that. So got my bar. So yeah, Christmas was amazing. I got through day nine. Um, well, actually a little before that. Oh, remember I was going to do alternating, so I'm going to do red and green. One of the things Allie talks about, um, these are really great. Her covers can be used as a stamp block too. You can stick them on here and then just go straight down, which I think is really cool. Hope you guys can see that. Make sure I'm still in the frame. But uh, again, I love using this little this little thing. So I'm just, and these, all these letters fit uh, almost perfect right here. Yeah, I like this. I think I'm going to... And this ink is just so, I love the colors. So right now, go ahead and go down, loving. So right now, loving. And yeah, I hope all you guys had a great, a great Christmas. And currently it is, um, I don't even know the date. Are you like that? Like, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Monday. I had a great weekend. I did do some fun um, planning. Actually, I did one of my days. I really, before Christmas and leading up, I felt really good about what I was accomplishing in my in my in my uh, December daily. But you know, real life happens, and you just sort of okay. So I'm gonna hopefully fit all this in here. 
So let's just do right, start right here, kind of right now. Oh, I just love how vibrant this, these colors are. I love all the ink. Yeah, so I've just been really, um, I, kids are grown, so it's a little easier for me to be able to, you know, have this time. My husband is so supportive. He loves when I'm just twiddling away in here. Okay, Ooh, look at how pretty this is, the green and the red. And yeah, I think I'm okay going up and down and not making it too perfect. Because I, it is no secret, am far, 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 far from perfect. So yeah, with this ink, I just try and tap. This is pretty inky. Like it's not a, a water base, like my water base Stampin' Up ones that I love. Um kind of almost wanting to give myself permission to get some new inks, but I do love using these Ali Edwards inks. And uh, as I stated before, I've actually used these for um, embossing because I feel like it stays wet just enough time for just enough time for me to get my powder on. And yet when I'm just stamping these nicely, um, they actually are drying and this particular paper is you know soaking it up pretty pretty well so mm. so yeah this is definitely a bright and colorful page like I am very attracted right now to very soft pastel colors and I love like the blushes and the pinks I've always loved those but I don't mind some happy some happy colors that just shout it's Christmas time all right so I'm going to share a little bit in my journaling with each one of these I start out the the prompt with <clears throat> I am loving and then I go into whatever it is I'm loving and I'll kind of share with you guys what that is but we need to spell loving right so right now loving and then I think I also want to add now I love this G my name is Gina so G's are always my favorite when I find a G I love I love this typecast here okay so I'm gonna kind of have to go up just a tad yeah so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that this pink really pops out, doesn't it? I feel like I need more pink somewhere over here, but you know what? This is 25 days of just fun and exploration. And so um, I found this is one of the pages that's taken me the longest. I'm trying to stay simple. And I did not do any prep. Like I learned and I kind of bought into the fact that I might do it, but I ended up not really doing all the prep and um, I just decided I was going to jump in each day and so I really like the way this turned out and um, I'm going to go ahead and again I, these letters I used aren't these so cute these are the Carrie Bradford um, Denali and I I don't know if she still has them in her shop but I definitely think those are a great option for for some big ones so I was just going to share with you a little bit about what each one of my 10 things are and I anticipated putting like a number on each one of these but but I didn't do that and I also know that I'm missing the number 10 because I was going to do day 10 oh I know what I was going to do so I actually so it'll open like this so here's my reasoning I'm bouncing around you guys I think it's called squirreling so this is going to go in my album and I'll be showing you that when I put it in my album, but this will be like this. And on this side, I'm going to put a three by eight photo or maybe just some really pretty pattern paper with the number. Um, let me show you what I'm going to put. In fact, let me go ahead and grab that so that I can finish that up and I'll meet you back here in just a second.
Okay, so what I did was, here's where I sort of left off showing you that I'm going to put this divider in. And what I'm hoping this divider will do is sort of like protect these um, from these and then also kind of keep them flat as, you know, it's stored. And then on this side, I cut a really cute piece of um, pattern paper that actually matches a piece on my left side from my back side of my day nine and so what i'm going to do is adhere this to here so let's go ahead and do that oh don't you hate when you have to cover a double-sided beautiful paper so this is the other side of this felicity jane paper and i love that and i see myself using that maybe in january luckily i have plenty left i have from a 12 by 12. so what i'm going to do is Make sure I have this nice and secure on here. I love this uh, Easy Runner. I have so many different ones. I use this one often. Um, I like it because it's pretty, pretty sticky. Okay, so let's make sure that we're nice and even. And so this is three and I think three and three point seven five by eight point two five is what this measures. And there's a little, obviously when, you, when you're when you putting, where's my scissors? Does anybody else have like a million scissors? I can't, I have my favorites that I pull, but I always feel like I'm, <laughs> I always forget that I have them out and then I grab. So let's just trim a little bit of that off. Give it a haircut. Yeah, so you're not, you know, it's never gonna be perfect. Do I really care? Yeah, I do. And I wish my paper cutter right now, I do love my Fiskars, like, just trimmer. But I'm playing with the idea of getting a very, I bet if I had that, uh, it's a green one, and it's called, like, the, um, oh gosh, I feel like I'm cutting into something I shouldn't be. It's called the uh, Cutter Pillar caterpillar it's green and it like shaves off like it's a steel blade onto a steel paper uh, foundation and it actually just slices the paper I've seen it demoed and I'm playing with the idea of getting it it's quite an investment but my little Fiskars trimmer you know does a pretty good job okay so you'll notice these holes are here and I'm wondering I probably should just use should probably use these and just do my power punch I was gonna use my six hole punch I love this thing but what happened was when I cut my papers and then punched punched my holes I was a little off because it doesn't have a guide on it and so I love that one but when it gets down to this I just pull out my little power punch and my guess is that I'm gonna go ahead and punch my holes and I was gonna try and make them all even but I think I'll just do this because this is my little chomper. I feel like it's probably a wise idea just to go ahead and do this. Those little curlies always get lost in there. And this might actually even out the, the uh, sides too. So I'm not gonna, oh my good golly. Now that these are a little bit bigger, see how they're a little bit bigger, but yeah, I think I don't think it's going to matter too much. So, okay. So what's happening here, this goes here and that'll line up somewhat evenly. Remember this is scrapbooking, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I just want to put this little day 10. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere and I'm going to use my scotch because this is more of a clear, I feel like this does a really good job like getting all and my easy runner generally let's see I just want to see where I'm gonna do I think I'll just put a smack dab right there and it's a little bumpy so I'm gonna kind of make sure it's Somewhat straight. And then I wanted to pull out, I love these Felicity Jane um, puffy stickers. They're from the Coco Kit. And I thought this fa la la la, I know I have 
carry the theme over into the next day. So I thought this would be a fun. In my original plan, I thought, oh, I'll put it right here in the middle. I still might. Oops. And then I thought, well, maybe it might look cute to sort it down. But I kind of like the idea of just sticking that right there in the middle. Love the black and white. Done a lot more of that. Okay. So day 10. So not anything fancy. So now I, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my book and then I want to share kind of what each one of them says. Um, just the journaling piece, the fun story um, of each of the 10 things. I did use the Felicity Jane numbers that came in the Coco kit and I've used them on and off and we'll continue to use them. But let's go ahead and take a second and let's get the album out. So I'm going to go ahead and set these to the side love 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 so here's the deal um so this you guys are getting a peek at what my next one's gonna be but now let's take a quick look and go ahead and psych these in and here's the deal I'm gonna lay these down so that looks really nice again this is I'm hoping will like kind of compact these so they're not just and that's laying in there. Very nice. Yay. I love when that works out. So see how I still may include a photo here. This is on the back of my day nine. And I haven't quite decided, but I kind of like the way it's now I'm getting out of my crazy green that I had going on and moving into some of my black and white, which is a great solid foundational color. So day 10. And then we're flipping it. And then I'll have these. So right now, loving. I love this. Okay, so really quickly, I'm not going to read everything, but I'll just share a little. So this was my very first one. And this button's getting in the way of opening, so I might do that differently. But I have a picture of my Juki sewing machine. And I just talk a little bit about my Juki and how I'm using that to use for my paper crafts right now because my Singer is broken. If you saw a previous video, I talked about that. And then I also am loving, I am loving right now, my red and white house lights. And I talk a little bit about how I've always had white lights on the outside, but last year we went red and white and I absolutely love them. And then this is something I'm loving. I already talked a little bit about this in a previous video. My husband and I got our treadmill. It's my Christmas present for this year. So I talk a little bit about our treadmill arriving early and getting it set up and we're already starting to work out. So that's really fun. Got a lot of uh, COVID pounds that we have to get rid of. And then this one is the peace one. And I talk about the quilt that I made. This is my Christmas quilt I made last year. And I love, love when I see my husband is here laying, taking a nap with Daisy on the couch and cozied up in my, in my quilt. And I love that in our quilt. I mean, I just love the fact that my family toasties up in them. And then here, this one talks about my Christmas tree and how much I enjoy the colors this year. My son um, calls it our mall tree because it reminds him of a mall tree. <laughs> so yeah, just a little quest story on that. And then this one is um, how I'm loving eggnog right now. I wasn't always a fan of eggnog, but I um, put a little Bailey's in it and boy, oh boy, um, what a sweet, yummy treat. So I've had that on a few evenings. And then this one is uh, about my new, um, I started this winter, I got these cozy airy sweaters. They're from Airy. I'm wearing one right now. And I just, oh, look at it, just, I have long arms. So these, um, these fit just so loose and cozy and they're thin. So I don't sweat, um, you know, like sometimes when you wear heavy sweaters, they're so kind of uncomfortable. So these ones are just so cute. And I'm actually, um, I love my beanies, my airy beanies that I hit the sales right after November or after Thanksgiving. And so, oh, I've just been just wearing them and I'm a PE teacher. So I've been wearing my cute sweaters with my um, cozy sweats, my PE sweats. <laughs> so I talk about how I can look professional still and cozy. Um, while I'm working in remote learning situation. So, oh, I just love this one. So cute. 
um, I'm talking a little bit about how I love, uh, love, love, love my essential oils and I'm enjoying our Christmas spirit and I mix things with Christmas spirit and I put it in my Aria in the kitchen and it just, my husband even walks by, he's like, I just love the smell of our oils and I'm so happy because I do feel like they are so good for our health and I haven't been sick for almost two years, like literally not even a cold, maybe just an occasional headache and um, even my allergies have, anyway, that's a whole nother story, but I'm loving the oils and especially the Christmas spirit. It smells so good. Um, and then this one, these are so fun to open. This one are, uh, now this is after Christmas, but I'm loving when I was making this, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I love these little slippers that my, we did a gift exchange with my Ohana, um, my um, dad's side of the family and all the girls did a gift exchange and so my aunt Char got me these adorable little stick slippers I don't even know if you can see them but I have to show you they're like these little teddy bear uh, <laughs> I mean you don't really get to wear things like that anymore um, when we get older like like I am I'm super old but this just super fun and cozy and cute and soft and then the last one all is calm and I talk a little bit about my, um, I feel very blessed um, to have my iMac um, computer. And there's a story behind this because a year ago, we got me an iMac because I've never had my own personal computer. I use my school computer, which is great as a teacher that you get, but I love Apple. And I ended up getting a Mac um, and it was kind of like this, the basic model. And then it just did not work. And then we went into our remote learning last spring when COVID hit and we were doing some of our stuff and it would just freeze up. And it, I don't know what was wrong with it because I'm a fan of Apple. Well, we decided that when we were going remote for this fall, we didn't know for how long, which we're still in remote. So um, we ended up upgrading and getting me the um the big daddy and i can't tell you how much i love it and of course i get to you it just it just is awesome with photoshop and with um with my with my cutter <laughs> my silhouette cameo and just all my tools that i use for crafting and for scrapbooking and memory keeping and journaling so Oh, you guys, so here it is. I know this is a long video, but I think, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, credit goes to Allie Edwards and also Crystal Inundate. Inundate? I'm so sorry if I'm saying her name wrong, but she, you should check out their, um, her channel also, and also Allie Edwards, who's one of my favorite. And just have yourself um, just a fun and Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you would, I would love it if you gave me a like if you enjoyed this and I love making these videos and just it's so much fun so happy new year to you and I'll be back I'm going to continue on with day 11 and try and work my way up my goal is to share all the way up through 25 so I've already got some of those started and so for today let us say goodbye and I will see you soon thanks for watching bye